What up, everyone? Uh, this is Taylornicity, and we're looking at the newest uh, Renacer or Raphael that uh, just came out, Starless. Um, this is the third generation of this Starless, and um, yeah, so I have all three right here. This is the uh, first one that they made, and it came in this box. And you can see it's much longer than the others, but it does have the same um, diameter mostly and then here's the second one uh the 520 the laufael uh 520 and i got the red one and this is the newest one that just came out now one of the things i noticed off the bat with uh the third one is they added the uh bluetooth um shortcut buttons which is on the um microsoft official pin that's something that was missing on the second generation and also it switched to usb type c which thank god um that's way better than micro usb which was on the second and i believe the uh, first and they're becoming a lot more um modern or a lot more um legit for instance this is their new um charger um, it plugs into USB type C and then with the pin, it just kind of magnetize in there and it can start charging, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's way better than how the, uh, second and the first one charge, which you just straight up plugged into micro USB. And, um, a lot of the problems that I had with the first and the second one are pretty much fixed on the third one, which is why I'm pretty impressed uh, with it so far. So I got Fresco open, and this is the uh, second Raphael. I don't know if I should call this the Raphael or the Renacer. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the second one. And one of the problems that the second one had, um, I don't know if I ever released my review on the second one, but one of the problems I had with it, which I've noticed the first one had this problem too, is it starts off super light, and then it ends dark, so... And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the second one. I'm just going to make some quick strokes. And it, um, as you can see, the second one has this problem where you see it It starts off light. Let's see if I can circle that. But then it ends dark. So see right here, it kind of ends dark. You can even see this with my circles as this started off super light and then, you know, kind of ended dark. And I feel like that's like a registry problem. It's like regis uh, registering too late. I don't know. But yeah, that was one of the problems I've had with the uh, second one. And when it comes to 3D, that doesn't really get in the way, but I feel like it could if you're drawing. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to do the Microsoft pin next because um, even though I don't think the Microsoft pin has as good as a presser curve as Raphael. I do think that it, the slim pin did a better job at the second Raphael at keeping it a consistent color. It starts off, you know, not white and starts off at the same color and ends with the same color. So, yeah. People say that the uh, Microsoft pin comes in a little dark, which I can kind of see what people are talking about. But yeah, it keeps a consistent color. Now we're going to test out the new Raphael, the uh, the third one. And I already tested this earlier, and they pretty much fixed that problem that the second one had. As you can see, it doesn't have that problem where it starts off white. It keeps the same uh, color variant through the whole stroke. So they pretty much fixed that problem that I was talking about. Um, and it can still keep its amazing pressure curve, which is what we're going to test next. So this is going to be the R2. That's what I'm going to call it. Excuse my bad handwriting. And this is going to be the R3. And this is going to be, I'm just going to put S for surface. So this is going to be the Raphael 3, Raphael 2, and the surface. Now we're going to test the pressure curve. And this is the Raphael 2. So we're going to test it. And one thing Renacer or Raphael has always done a good job at is its pressure curve. It's one of the things that people talk about in the surface community that has kind of caught people's eye. 
over the uh, surface pin. So there's the uh, presser curve. As you can see, we have the light and you know, the kind of in-between light, the medium and the doik. <coughs> and now I'm gonna test the surface pin presser curve. As you can see, it's kind of very hard and I'm not doing this on purpose though. I try and make this pin look bad. It's obviously a really good pin, but no, I actually tried really hard and I'm gonna actually redo it. I'm gonna try super hard to do a super light line. And I'm not joking, I barely pressed down on the screen and it came out like that, so. As you can see, and it does a good job at getting dark, but as you can see with the surface, you know, you kinda don't get that super light, which you do with the Raphael. Now let's test out the third one. So we're gonna slow off light. Kind of push harder and then push super hard. So yeah, it still keeps its amazing presser curve. And yeah, they fixed the consistency of the line. Um, also let's test out shading. So let's go back to the Raphael 2. And what's this, what's this shade real quick? So shading obviously works on all these three pins. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's like any difference. I don't think when it comes to shading, I don't think any of the, I feel like all these pins are like the same. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like the Raphael 3 improved on everything that the second and the first one had problems with. Um, it keeps the exact same body, which I also want to talk about. Um, let me just kind of move this out of the way real quick. So it keeps the exact same body as the uh, second one. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which I said in my review that I thought that this body has one of the perfect bodies that a stylus could have because it literally has the exact same diameter as a pencil, which is something the Surface Pen and the Apple Pencil do not have. So it feels like you're actually holding a pencil. So yeah, they kept the exact same body, but they added the shortcut keys, which work perfectly. So now I'm going to show off the uh, shortcut keys which work on the new uh, Raphael 3. And I have mine set up where if I double click, it snaps the uh, screen. I'm gonna see if that works, yep. And yeah, I can, this is good for taking notes. I remember when I was in school, I used this a lot. I could snap the screen and just kind of like circle something my teacher was teaching me, you know, write a little note on the side and yeah. So the Bluetooth shortcut keys work. Another thing I want to show off is it actually keeps your, since you connect your pen to Bluetooth to your computer now, it actually keeps your battery life, which I think is pretty cool. Something the second do not uh, did not do. So you can actually see how much battery uh, you have in your Renesa pen, just like you could with the Slim pen. So I think that's very cool. And yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this review. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.